Hi, I'm Trey Williams, and I play drums for Dying Fetus. And uh, today I'm going to show you guys my touring drum set. Here we go. There's my death metal spaceship that I build and take apart every day and play a little bit. So let's talk about some of my drums. So we'll start here in the middle. Uh, I've been using this 13-inch Omar Hakim signature snare for a couple years now. I really like it. Uh, I beat it up pretty good. If you got a good look, you can see it's pretty rusty now down here on the edges. I'm even cracking some of the, the lacquer from tightening up my lugs too much. But uh, fortunately, Pearl makes really quality equipment, so it has yet to fail me. Um, we'll go. Uh, we'll start with the rest of the drums. I use a Pearl Masters Maple Complete drum set. This is the second tour I've used this on, and so far, everybody, all my engineers. Um, and myself, audience, uh, really loves the way they sound. Um, I've been using uh, a TuneBot um, by Overtone Labs. I'm not endorsed or anything by them, but I've been really stoked with how my drums sound from using it. So let's talk about some drum sizes. We already talked about the snare with the 13 inch, 13 by five and a half, I believe. Then I go with my toms, I go 10, 12, 14, 16. Now, I purposely do a 14 inch tom for note spacing with tuning. Um, when you have a 13, sometimes you have to compromise either the, the sound of your 12 or your 13. Like you don't, you can't get your 13 as low as you want it. So maybe you have to tune your 12 higher. But when you have these equal increments in sizes of two inches for me, 10, 12, 14, 16, the notes just seem to fall into place a little better. And we go down to the kick drums. Uh, these are 22 inch, I think by 18. 22 by 18, maybe 20, 22 by 20. I can't recall right now. But uh, I don't really use the kick drums like a kick drum. You see them in death metal, so we, we trigger drums, right? So that leads right on to my pedals. So I play Axis longboards. Um, Axis put these together for me just before the Summer Slaughter Tour. Um, they're pretty much just Axis A longboards with the regular old same parts you could get if you ordered regular A's, except I have the micro micro tuner, micro spring adjustment tuner, which just, just allows you to change your spring tension um, without having to get down on the floor to do it. And they also have the Axis E kits, which um, have been working really great for me. I do several different foot techniques. I swivel my feet. I do the, uh, the Harlem Shake, the Kansas City Boogaloo, uh, the Charleston, um, but I also do double strokes. Um, some of my drummer jokes, they're pretty sorry. But uh, I do double strokes, and the Axis E kits are really good at keeping up with all of what I'm doing. So I've been very happy with that. That segues over really nicely to what do I trigger with, electronic-wise. So I've been using for a couple years now my uh, Roland SPDSX. Please don't mind my mess of cabling on the top. I do samples from here, and I do triggering from here. Uh, it has a really nice variety of parameters to adjust for triggering. Um, you'd be surprised how well you can actually trigger with just this unit. Um, I know a lot of guys are using the Roland TM2 now, um, but I try to keep as much stuff into one package, so that allows me to have my triggering and my sampling here. And samples are all just like end of song samples, leading into song samples, and then in between song noise. Uh, just so we don't hear, oh, play it faster, it needs to be louder, from the audience, or like hear them shout out songs, and it just fills the air with an ominous tone. So let's talk about some heads now. Right now, I'm kind of on an Evans kick. Um, I was using some Remos, I'm not endorsed by either company, so I, I kind of just go back and forth, and actually some drums fit, some heads fit better on certain drums. like. For some reason, I can't get a Remo head to fit on my Omaha Hakeem snare. They're just a little bit smaller on the hoop edge, um, so I've been using Evans's on that. Resonant heads right now, I'm actually still using the stock heads um, on these drums that came with them. Fortunately, Pearl provides you with pretty quality heads when you buy a higher level drum set, like a Master's Complete. So I'm using the Pearl stock heads on the bottom. And uh, guys, you know, change your resonant heads too. Um, it's resonant, it's the resonating tone of your drum. You know, they do wear out also. So I will be swapping those out probably after this tour. Um, huh, all right, so we're moving up. 
well, let's just stay down here. Um, I am also a Vic Firth endorser, um, and I play Vic Firth 5B nylon tips, and um, I'm really happy with them. You know, uh, Vic Firth makes an amazing drumstick. Uh, you can count on your sticks to feel the same, no matter if you keep them in their matched pairs or if you throw them in a box and you just grab random ones, you're probably gonna feel pretty close to them both being the same. Uh, they make really great stuff and you know, I'm really thankful that they support me by giving me my artist discount. Um, but I don't have a signature stick, just five BNs. That's my signature. <laughs> and um, okay, so where we go now? Let's talk about some bronze. Um, I'm a Sabian endorser also. So that's Pearl, Sabian, Vic Firth, Axis. Those are all my endorser companies and I play DB drum shoes. But let's talk about the Sabian symbols now. Uh, here, let's take over. Here's a fun little fact. If we come over by the hi-hat, oh my God, all the death metal guys are gonna hate me for this. Yes, that is a corn logo. That is a corn logo. I, my death metal true diehards, don't hate on me. I got them. My, uh, my artist rep, hooked me up with a, uh, with a free pair because um, Ray Luzier didn't like the way that they sounded for him, but I like the way they sound for me, so they're free. Um, I have a variety of symbols from AAXs to HHXs. Um, this is a Paragon, Neil Pert Paragon. Uh, I think this is a 19, yep, this is a 19 inch Paragon. 14 inch stage hats, uh, 16 inch explosion crash, uh, 14 inch AAX mini china, um, another explosion crash in a 14, um, an HHH, HHX China Kang. This one's fun. Uh, my main crash ride is an 18 inch explosion, 19 inch extreme China from the AAX line. And then this stacker over here, the most expensive thing that sounds like a trash can, um, is my Evolution Ozone 16 over a HHX 18 inch China. And this is my second latest edition, uh, the Leopard Ride um, from Sabian. Um, really stoked on this. Um, I heard a bunch of older death metal dudes talking about how cool this ride was, and uh, so I went with it. And I've been really stoked with it, and the guys in my band have been stoked with it. Oh, and we forgot about one. He's hiding out over there. There's my Radia Bell, um, Terry Bozio. I believe that is a 10 or a nine, a nine inch radio bell. So that doubles as my secondary ride symbol if I do double ride things. That way I don't have a big monster ride, but a big monster ride would look cool. Also probably saw that all this stuff is mounted on the Pearl Icon rack. Um, that is the best rack in the business. The only round bars are the verticals. The horizontal bars are square and that means you don't have any of your toms or your symbols starting to rotate. I know a lot of guys that are even toma guys and they use the Pearl Icon Rack because it is, it is banging. I started using the Icon Rack when I became a Pearl endorser. I used to use um, another company's rack for that. It just facilitates an easier setup for me. As big as the drum set is, it actually has a pretty small footprint. I fit on a six by nine, uh, actually is it six by nine or six by four inch rug and you can see most of my kit all sits on it. If I had stands, it would be way wider and uh, the Pearl Icon rack is killer. I've been using this specific one for probably seven years, and I think it's reaching a, its time to be just at my house, so I'm gonna be picking up a new one, and it'll be looking just like this when I get a new one. Guys, thanks so much for checking out my drum set. I hope you all enjoyed the little experience here. Um, you can check my band out on Facebook, uh, facebook.com forward slash dying fetus. Come check us out in the rest of this year, we're going to be doing a lot of touring. I can't announce anything yet because it's not announced, but we will be doing another North American tour, I believe, in the spring, if everything goes out well. And, you know, check out our new album, Wrong One to Fuck With. Um, we're really happy with the way it's been responded to by the audience, and hopefully you guys will like it too. So uh, thanks for checking out my stuff.